the shuttle launch control at T minus 9 minutes in holding. We have just about 26 minutes left in this planned built in hold. This is shuttle launch control at T minus 9 minutes and holding. We have just about 16 minutes left in this planned built in hold. Launch teams are not working any issues that would delay the 7.43 p.m. launch tonight here at NASA's Kennedy Space Center. As you can see on screen, this is a shot of a launch viewing area here at Kennedy Space Center where thousands of people come to view the launches. Some people waving. Attention on the net. This is the NTD conducting the launch status check. All stations verify ready to resume count and go for launch. OTC? OTC is go. TBC? TBC go. PTC? PTC is go. LPS? LPS is go. Houston flight? Houston flight is go. Myla? Myla is go. STM? STM is go. Safety console? Safety console is go. SDE? SP is go. LRD? LRD is go. SRO? SRO is go, you have range clear to launch. And CDR. CDR is go. Launch director, NTD. Launch director. Launch team is ready to proceed. Copy that, Steve. Thank you. I'll do my poll at this time. KSC Chief Processing Engineer, verify no constraints to launch. No constraints. Thank you, Steve. KSC Safety Mission Assurance. KSC Safety Mission Assurance. Who's going, Mike? Very good, Mark. Payload Launch Manager. Mike, we're good to launch S6. Thank you. Copy, Bill. Range weather. Winds are 150-14-19. Weather has no constraints for launch. Copy, Kathy. Thank you. And Ops Manager. Okay, launch Director, Ops Manager of 212. The MMT isn't tracking any issues. We look real good. You're go to launch. Okay. Thank you, sir. Discovery Launch Director. Launch Director, go ahead for discovery. Okay, Brew, well, you had a little bit of a wait, but uh, that'll just make the payoff that much sweeter. So on behalf of the KSC... Launch and processing teams, good luck and Godspeed. Well, thanks, Mike, and congratulations to you and the entire team for getting Discovery ready for a 36 mission. And, you know, it's truly really an honor to be part of this team, representing all of NASA, our nation, and the international partners. Uh, thanks for the work, Mike. We'll see you in a couple of weeks. Take care, and uh, let's go ahead and fire up a zone of freedom. Copy that, Bruce. Thank you very much. And to do with that, you are clear to launch Discovery. Copy, clear to launch. Thank you. We're just a few seconds away from resuming the countdown for the launch of Space Shuttle Discovery today. Countdown on this clock will start in 4, 3, 2, 1, and we're at T-minus 9 minutes and counting. And the ground link launch sequencer has been initiated. GLS is go for orbiter access arm retract. Discovery, OTC, best wishes. You bring ISS to full power. Enjoy the ride tonight. The orbiter access arm is now being retracted away from the vehicle. And this is the walkway used by the crew to gain entry into and out of Discovery. It can be returned to position within seconds if necessary. PLS is go for orbiter APU start. PLT, OB, OTC, perform APU start. APU start, send work. CDR, OTC, reconfigure heater. We have a go for APU start. The launch team has terminated liquid oxygen replenish to the external tank and is now initializing LOX drain back. Seconds and counting. T 
TLS is go for auto sequence start. 25. And we have a go for auto sequence start. Discovery's onboard computers have primary control of all the vehicle's critical functions. 15. 12. 10. TLS is go for main engine start. 6. 4, 3, 2, 1, and booster ignition lift off, space shuttle discovery, taking the space station to full power for full science. This is mission control system. Discovery roll program. Rock and roll discovery. Discovery's roll maneuver is complete. It is now in a head down position on track for its flight to the International Space Station. One and a half miles in altitude, seven miles downrange from the Kennedy Space Center. Discovery's engines are throttling down as the orbiter passes through the area of maximum pressure on the vehicle. Discovery, go and throttle up. Discovery, go and throttle up. Three main engines on board are throttling back up. Now one minute, 12 seconds into the flight, Discovery is flying at 1,800 miles per hour, 10 miles in altitude, and 11 and a half miles downrange from the Kennedy Space Center. At liftoff, the fully fueled shuttle, boosters, and external tank weighed four and a half million pounds. The total thrust at launch was six million four hundred and twenty-five thousand pounds. All systems continue to function well. Three good main engines, three good power generating fuel cells, and three good auxiliary power units for the hydraulic system. We will now stand by for burnout and separation of the solid rocket boosters. Combined, the twin boosters provide 5.3 million pounds of thrust to propel the orbiter towards space. Discovery now flying 3,600 miles per hour, 32 miles in altitude, 43 miles downrange from the Kennedy Space Center. Discovery, two engine TAL. Two engine TAL. Discovery, negative return. Discovery copies, negative return. Discovery, press to ATO. Discovery, press to ATO. Discovery, single engine ops three. Single engine ops three. Single engine Zaragoza 104. The U.S. is there going to 104. Discovery, press to Miko. Press to Miko. Discovery, nominal shutdown. Go for the plus X. No go for the pitch. Discovery, single engine press 104. Good read back. Single engine press 104. And then the cutoff is confirmed. Discovery, Houston, nominal Miko, Ohms 1 not required. Copy that, Ohms 1 not required. 